Hi there, my name is Juri Strumpflohner and this is Learning Angular 2 Directives, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm currently working as a tech lead and architect, where I mostly concentrate on developing rich JavaScript single-page applications. I have six plus years of experience in developing such apps with various front-end frameworks. For two of those years, I've been building a large production app with Angular 1. Currently, I'm closely following the latest development on Angular 2, I publish Angular-related articles on my blog and contribute to open source projects. I'm also working on an Angular 2-based application that is going to be released in production very soon. You can find me on Twitter or on my blog at yurisdr.com. This video will serve as a comprehensive introduction to Google's new Angular 2 framework and will help you get started with building sophisticated and successful Angular 2 components. Angular version 1 has been around already since 2009 and turned out to be one of the most popular JavaScript front-end frameworks. In October 2014, Google announced the development of Angular 2, a total rewrite of the popular framework, with the target of aligning it with the current web standards and to make it even more productive and modern. Throughout this course, we will demonstrate the various concepts behind creating Angular 2 directives and components. We do this in a fully interactive way, developing a dashboard application for a potential home automation system. But before we get into the guts of the framework, we will learn how to set up our development environment. We will also take a look at TypeScript and some of the ES2015 language features that might turn out to be quite useful throughout our course. Finally, we will be writing our first Angular 2 component and even learn how to upgrade your existing Angular 1.x application if you should have to do so. We will decompose a static UI design taken from the Google Material Design Lite website into proper Angular 2 components that build the foundation of our Angular application. We will also see how to have those components communicate with each other. In section 4 and 5, we will learn creating reusable components. We're going to explore some of the new concepts of Angular 2 by creating a reusable modal dialog component. Moreover, we will also see how to integrate an external library like D3. This library will be used for creating a nice chart. Then, we will learn how to create a proper setup for bundling and minifying our Angular 2 code such that it can be deployed to a production environment. Afterwards, we will explore how to keep our components clean and maintainable by looking at unit testing and end-to-end -end testing strategies. We'll also discover some good debugging tricks. Finally, in section 7, we are getting a glance about what is possible with Angular 2. We are going to explore Angular 2 on the mobile with Ionic by building a small Android and iOS app that renders one of our built Angular 2 components. And then we will see how you can run Angular even on a server using Angular 2 Universal. By the end of the course, you should be confident at starting to build your own Angular 2 components, how to develop, test and deploy them to a production environment. You don't have to have any experience at all with Angular 2 or Angular 1 to learn from this course. You should have some knowledge in building JavaScript-based front-end applications, though, to be able to follow along easily. I think we've got a good overview and are ready to build some cool stuff with the latest cutting-edge technology from Google. So let's get started.